Hello, I'm Spanx, and I'm at PDX Land, and it's uh, it smells like it smells like uh, Domino's pizza uh, intensity and us sweat, and uh, it's great. Uh, it's a great musk. It's coming out uh, summer 2015. It's called PDX Scent by Jerry by Barnacles. Now back to you, Jay. Audio equipment for PDX Land was provided by Sennheiser. Check out the stuff that I was using in the links down in the description. Are you sure? Is that a fat joke? Hey, what's up guys? Jay's Two Cents here, and we are at PDX Land here in, well, Portland. And this is actually my first land event, and it is pretty... And this is actually my first land event, and it's freaking cool. We got over 500 systems here, most of which are custom, and most of which, unfortunately, make skunk works look like chump works. But anyway, I digress. So let's go ahead and come into PDX land, and let's see what is going on this year. So if you guys have been watching my live stream on Twitch here at PDX Land, you've noticed that my HyperX Cloud 2s do not have the stock ear cups on there. And that's because we are here with Edge Pro Gaming and they make custom ear cups for pretty much any headset on the market. And if you guys don't have that particular headset, you probably have something that'll fit anyway. So tell, tell us about the technology in your ear cups and why would anyone want it? Yeah, you bet. So what we do is we make ear cushions, like you say, for just about every headset out there. The materials that we use are really cutting edge. We've been making these for over 20 years, but the materials are like conformal foam, space age stuff, super comfortable, evens out the pressure really well around your ears. The great thing too is when I was wearing them, they're, they're so noise isolation that I, I couldn't even hear Jerry, and that was great. You guys have no idea how much I would pay for that. So, uh, but no, you guys, you guys did like avionics headsets and things too, right? That's and correct. loud engines, and, and so the pilots right. have to be able to isolate the environment so they can hear radio communications. That's correct. We've been working in aviation now for about 25 years, and thankfully, almost all the parts that we use for aviation work on gaming headsets as well, so we didn't have to reinvent the wheel. Right. And, you know, we have the top cushions made with sheepskin and leather. They're super comfortable. We have the cushions. You know, we That's important. As well. That's important at Atlanta Bay. you got to protect the butt. Are, <laughs> these things are amazing. We all sit on these in our office chairs as well, so they're... And, and I can see this also too, if you've got kids that play like football, t-ball or whatever, take them, sit them on, on the bleachers. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Absolutely awesome. Right. All right, guys. So you can check them out over at www.edgeprogaming.com and you can see what they've got. Uh, really cool stuff. And I, I'm telling you, they're more comfortable. The bass is improved in the headset. It just took everything about the headset that I loved and enhanced the sound even more. So there you go, guys. Thanks for talking with us. We're going to go ahead and get lost here a little bit more at PDX. Okay, so if you guys follow Barnacles Nerdgasm at all on YouTube, you know he has recently sold his soul for a high-end Puget System. Now, Puget Systems is here. They're one of the sponsors here at PDX Land, and they've got some stuff on demonstration, including an Oculus Rift uh, DK2 on a racing simulator, which is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it makes me sick and dizzy. So uh, give me just kind of a quick rundown about what it is you're showing here and who you guys are. Well, Puget Systems is a local system integrator out of Auburn, Washington, just south of Seattle. And we have uh, some toys to share with everyone. We have a couple of Oculus Rifts, but we actually brought a couple of our workstations that we sell here. I mean, it's way too much power for the Oculus Rift, but we just wanted to kind of showcase what we do. It's also way too much power for what you gave Jerry, just saying. He, uh, yeah, you know, he does real good on Minecraft with that. And Minesweeper. Now also too, I just want to give a huge thank you to you guys because you guys did give me a system to use while I was here. I've been streaming on that system, that small little ITX build, mm -hmm. tiny little slim case. My God, that thing is powerful for what it is. Yeah, we really, uh, we really like building them. We have one right behind us here and we call it an Echo 3 and we put a 980 in yours for uh, this weekend. 
I know, and it was at stock speed, and then I overclocked it, so I hope you guys don't mind, but I did overclock it a little bit, and uh, no, it's holding up great. I mean, 4790K in there, 16 gigs of RAM, SSD, 500 gig SSDs, 980 overclock. You guys even use a ribbon cable on that to move the GPU so it's away from the CPU and the, and the board so you get proper airflow, fans that blow directly on it. That's a really well thought out system. Thank you. So Chris, thanks for talking with us today, and uh, we're going to go ahead and see what else we got here at PDX. All right, so we've wandered over here to the Case Labs booth here at PDX, and we have something extremely rare here, and that is somebody taller than me. No, guys, we're here talking about uh, their brand new X2 line of cases. Now, we've talked about this for a while, kind of like off the record, and I expected there to be an X, uh, I'm sorry, an X2 case. I didn't expect there to be three of them. So why do we have three? Well, we kind of sprung that out. Uh, one of the things we, we kind of wanted to do was to be able, you know, we always have uh, products with groups of families. So we just have, you know, the M8, M10, TH10 with Merlin line. We have the SM5, SM8, SC10. The same thing with the SM88. Oh, SMA8. Can't forget that one. 10, yes, yeah, of course, your build. Uh, so with this one, we wanted to, originally started out with the X2, wanted to keep something that was really small, really compact, kind of more focused around all-in-one coolers. Uh, with that being said, we also didn't want to eliminate water cooling altogether. We also thought it would be a cool idea to have kind of a small server NAS kind of setup. So we went out with this X2M which is actually just a little bit wider, a little bit deeper. Uh, right here we have some hot swap bays, but it would also be really cool for water cooling um, as opposed to just like an all-in-one for the X2. And we also have the X5, which is just the same width and depth as the X2, but it fits an MATX board in there. So really just try to hit all ends on this one. Now what I love about these is you guys said we all wanted right. to build a case that was much more affordable, but it still had to be all aluminum, because that's what you guys are about. Now, I can tell you right now that these cases are way more affordable than something like the SMAA, even when outfitted. So we'll talk more about pricing and stuff when we do the review. But just know that I am going to be doing a review of this case as well as cramming as much high-end hardware as I can in there with water cooling to put their, uh, their build concept to the test. So we'll be looking at that here in a few months. And uh, we're looking at something like this right here, or this right here in white. So talk a little bit more about that but guys the all aluminum cases here and uh, I, I really want to say like what your projected pricing is I won't but trust me guys it's exciting so thanks guys for talking with us and uh, we will uh, definitely be talking in the future I have to sell my soul a little bit but it's worth it so there is a gaming evangelist amongst us and that being Ed is Chrysler 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 I always want to say Chrysler I don't know why like you're everybody the does my nickname in the Navy was Mopar Just because nobody would pronounce the last name right? I get it now. I just thought you were really into Dodge. No. Okay. So if you guys don't know, Ed is actually one of the uh, reps here for Sapphire. But that kind of takes a, a back seat to what he's really here for. And that is for his evangelist attitude towards gaming as a whole, especially PC gaming at LAN events like this. So tell me what, why you're here and what you're all about. <laughs> I couldn't ignore that photo, Bob. Uh well, why I'm here, obviously, is for Sapphire Technologies. And we are really, really wanting to make a push for PC gamers. It's time to get serious about PC gaming. And let's face it, when you're dealing with cards like the, like the 270, 280, 290, that's what they're meant for, is PC gaming. So You mean they're not for doorstops? No, they're not for doorstops. And despite what Logan believes, they are not for coasters. So I get to come to these events. Uh, we give away some prizes. We talk about PC gaming in general. We get to spread the word that we are one, we're part of the community. We're just like everybody else. We love to game. We love to be involved with it, and it, it's our opportunity to do so. And it's important to also mention that Sapphire is a sponsor for this event. Yes, we're a sponsor for this event and for 14 other LAN events this year that I know of currently. Now let me tell you guys why I love Ed. There's two reasons. I got to meet him in person at CES for the first time. We only conversed through email before that. Right. And I immediately recognized you were more about the community necessarily than you were the brand at first. Like, I mean, you, obviously you're Sapphire, but you were like, gaming community is what you're all about, and that's what you're bringing to Sapphire. I, I have a really simple philosophy. It applies in business and applies for this as well. When you're part of something, if the whole does well, the individual parts do well. That's, and that's what I've said many times on the stream, why everybody needs to survive in this community. The other thing is, he got me playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden <laughs> Warfare, which Paul I am apropos on uh, Twitch, if you guys don't know, has been playing and streaming, and it looked like fun. I just never bothered downloading it. 
I've been streaming that more than Battlefield here, and I'm a Battlefield player. Yeah, I did this to Richard Huddy, too. Richard Huddy had never played it, was a huge Battlefield 4 player, loved Battlefield 4, and now every time I see him online, he's playing Plans vs. Zombies. And now the last reason why I really, really love Ed is the fact that you guys say I don't do enough AMD reviews, especially graphics cards, even though I've done every AMD tier of graphics card there is on the market. Ed has graciously sent over three graphics cards for review. The first one being the R7 260X, right. which is definitely a more mainstream entry level. Anyone could really afford it if they saved, yes. get into PC and gaming. The 285 ITX, yes. the only ITX 285 on the market. That's correct. And then the 290X Tri... Tri-X. Tri-X, eight gigabyte card. That, it, it, we're really gonna put that to the test with like Skyrim with mods and things like that. Yeah, it, it's a really neat card. It's it's kind of a niche market card. But what we did was is we had our 8 gig VaporX, which actually was much more successful than, than I believed it would be because it, it's niche market. It's kind of for the people that want to do more than gaming. They want to do the direct compute applications that will use that 8 gig buffer. But the price was a little high. Right. So we got rid of the vapor chamber, went down to a standard heat pipe cooler with triple fan. We were able to reduce the price. And we're going to be putting that all to the test, trust me, on the channel. We're going to save some surprises for the channel. But if you guys, you're watching this, obviously, after the effect. But I've been live streaming with Ed all weekend playing Plants vs. Zombies. So you can go watch a replay of that. Ed, thank you very much for talking with us no today. Problem. Cannot wait to do those reviews. And we're going to go play some games now, guys. So it's time for you all to leave. So get the hell out. Bye.